Today we are going to talk about a packable day pack. So a packable day pack, the idea behind it is you go to a location with like your big suitcase or your big backpack and you get there and you want to walk around throughout the days, right? With like your camera, maybe a bottle of water, maybe like your cell phone and you don't want to carry like a giant bag. Well, a packable day pack is a perfect solution. Here's the one that I used when I went to Thailand just a few weeks ago. This is the Eagle Creek Day Pack. It's super tiny. This is how small it packs up. It's got a clip on it so you can clip it to things. I don't know why you would. You unzip it and this is actually like the front pocket of the bag. You know that little pocket in front of a backpack? That's what this thing folds into. So when you fold it, it comes undone like this. And there you go. And it's inside out. You get yourself a small backpack like this. It's super cool. It's all just nylon. That clip though, earlier that was dumb, is now actually kind of useful. You can clip like your keys to it. It can go right inside that front little pocket. The reason I chose the Eagle Creek Day Pack, why did I choose that, Dallas? That's what you're asking. You're like, Dallas, why'd you choose that? The reason I chose that is because it's got lockable zippers. It's got these T's, right? So let's say you're walking around and you're worried about someone doing like a quick like, and getting your stuff, pulling it out, right? It's got this cool circle at the top. It's like a little metal ring. You take the T and you put it through the ring and then you take this T, right? And you put it through the ring and boom. You can't take it, you can't just like grab the zipper and pull it. Someone's not gonna be able to sit next to me and just lightly open it without me noticing it. I'm pretty aware, but you know, after a couple changs, anybody can slip up. And then it's actually got full on, like where you put the two hoops together and you could slip one of those travel locks on and you can fully actually lock the bag. Now it is just nylon. If they want your stuff, they're gonna take your stuff. They're just gonna cut it. But it gives you a little bit of extra security when you're just cruising around and stuff then you can lock it up. Let's say you want to jump in the water really quick. You could run like a little cable lock, lock this thing to your beach chair, and you can at least go in the water and you'll be able to see someone there like monkeying around with this if they're trying to steal your stuff. The second thing that I really liked about this is that it has a water bottle holder. So many of these packable day packs don't have water bottle holders and like, this is the most used thing, especially when you're going to a tropical environment, like going to Thailand, going to Mexico, going somewhere, you're gonna drink a lot of water, right? This is a lifesaver. So water bottle holder, the straps, they're just this thin nylon. They have like a little bit of like that kind of wicking webbing material. They're not the ma most amazing. It's a packable day pack. Uh, you're not gonna put a ton of weight in here. I will show you how I set it up real quick. So I actually wanted to carry my camera, an extra lens. I turned this thing into a camera tank. So I used this right here. Now this thing looks insane because I took a mailing tube, right? And I attached it to one of those padded cases. This is an ape case. I'll link to all this stuff down in the description. So if you want to check it out, boom, you can. But this is just one of those like padded divider cases and it's got a drawstring. And then I just ran some tape around it and I use this guy right here, this cardboard tube. I'll show you why. So I open up the bag, boom. This guy goes in, I make sure I put this side on the opposite side of the water bottle just so things kind of run smoother. That way a water bottle hits this and doesn't hit like this. It just feels better on my back and stuff, you know? So slide this guy in here, it fit no problem. And I was able to fit my Canon M50, the 11 to 22 millimeter lens, a 22 millimeter lens, a microphone, USB backup power, and my travel tripod. This is my travel tripod that is like, I love this thing. It's got an elevator deal, it goes up and down and it like extends, right? This drops in, let's see, into that thing right there, right? Doesn't wobble around all that much. And then you can just take this guy and zip it up. And I seriously loved this bag. Slipped it on and it was like no problem. It's so small. You get into like a little tuk-tuk or you get into a group song towel ride or whatever. And this thing's just like, and I got everything right there and it's all safe, padded. It was no problem. I don't know if you're gonna carry your like 1DX or whatever, these super expensive cameras that are gigantic, but for like an average person, this thing was perfect. So packable day packs, absolutely loved it. Eagle Creek was the one I chose. I told you why, lockable, water bottle holder, little T guys, perfect size, lightweight. And it was like, I don't know, 30 bucks, 20 something bucks, great deal. Check the links down below if you want to see more about it. Check out our videos if you want to see more about Thailand or travel or any other reviews that we've done. We love having a conversation. So if you guys hate this bag, let me know why you hate it. If you have a bag you absolutely love, let me know about it. Maybe I'll check it out. Maybe I'll review it here on the channel. I don't know. But thank you so much for watching. It's been awesome.